Welcome to the DO Boxing Show. I'm your host, Damon Arposio. Welcome to another episode. In this episode, we're going to be um, just talking about some comments that we got with regards to putting out the Ontario Boxing Hall of Fame list of inductees. So I just wanted to um, have a response or make a, give response to some of the comments that were made on Facebook and through email. Um, one, they're, the fighters, when they're listed 1 to 11, they're not listed in any particular order. So no person is more important just because they're listed uh, with a higher number. It was just, um, the, the numbering system was just basically to indicate the, the number of people that were out there. Um, two, the asterisks that are beside the names. The asterisks that are be, beside names just mean that the person has passed away, but we still wanted to recognize them as somebody that has contributed significantly, significantly to the sport of boxing in Ontario. Um, also, um, people had submitted different names, um, Donovan Razor Ruddick, Nikki Ferlano, which I think all are great names. However, there's um, a limited amount of spaces that I could put in terms of inductees. I didn't even want to go with the number 10 because I thought that was a large number um, for a Hall of Fame that's focused on a province. But I wanted to do 10, but we also recognized Horace Gwen before I took over the company. And um, I wanted to make sure that he had a formal induction. And that's what brought the number to 11. But in the future, there will definitely be more inductions. And hopefully we'll get a significant amount of support for the inductees for this year, 2016. Um, so when it comes to the induction or, or the Ontario Boxing Hall of Fame, it was established in 2000 by Rob Zuck, Joe Fallis, uh, Darrell Wombout, and I might be missing another uh, two gentlemen's names. I took it over in 2002 as a nonprofit corporation. I dissolved it into a sole proprietorship, and now it's back under a corporate banner of Damon Arposio Limited, which all my other businesses are under that banner as well. Um, so we're putting on this event on Saturday, May the 7th, which is going to be coming up in less than two months. And first off, we have the um, Boxing Trade Show, which we do every year. And it's going to be at the Hansa House Hall, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. It's $5 in advance for advance admission. If you're, if you're getting at least two tickets, which is $10, I will drive your tickets out to you anywhere in the GTA. Also, we still have some booths available. We're about half sold right now, and the booths are $200. So whether you're a fighter or a business in boxing or a business in health, then come out and get a booth. It's $200, and we also have a way for you to make that money back. Um, but when it comes to the induction, the induction is going to be taking place at 7 p.m. So we shut, we shut the hall down for at least two hours because my team needs time to set up. We need time to set up. And so we're going to be just kicking everyone out at 5. We reopen the doors at 7. We start the induction ceremony. The individual dinner tickets for the induction ceremony are $60 a piece. If you want to purchase a table, it's $400, which brings the ticket price down to $50 a ticket. It, a table seats eight people. We have $25 tickets for general admission for the induction ceremony. If you don't want to purchase the dinner, but you just want to take part in the festivities, see what's going on, see people receive their awards. And that's going to be from approximately 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. that evening. So we hope that you can come out. We are still selling sponsorship and we'll be strong right up until the event. And um, the inductees are very deserving. And we hope that people are going to come out and be able to enjoy the evening. If you have any questions, feel free to ask us either through Twitter at D-O-K-P-O-S-I-O, -O, through email, aposio at hotmail.com. Um, and we really appreciate all the comments, messages, um, any anything that you want to say, leave, or ask, please do so, and then we would love to address it. That's what the DO Boxing Show's all about. Um, we're going to be ramping up the media as we go along as well. You may see some of our media packages out there. We're also going to be hitting up some TV, and um, you're going to see future episodes in the DO Boxing Show as well, just kind of letting you know how things are progressing. Um, so feel free to contact me anytime. Uh, my number is on everything, the posters, the literature, and also the show. I'll give it to you now, 647-224-2199. Give me a shout anytime. I don't mind. And um, 
we really appreciate the interaction. Um, it's never a bother. I love the comments and, um, you know, give them to us so that we can address them, bring them up, let you know what we're doing because we want to definitely make sure that you're happy, you're enjoying what's going on. And, uh, we also want to get some more recognition out there for, um, all the deserving people that are in the sport of boxing that make it happen. Um, so thanks again for tuning into another episode and we're going to see you on the next one.